back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm the author of the Young Adult Fantasy, Fury and Rising, and this is English Nerd. So I've gotten a few questions about how to set up a book signing, and I thought that since I did a book signing this weekend, it was uh, an appropriate time to kind of break down how you can set up a book signing for your own book and a few best practices that I've found are useful. Um, I've had some pretty successful events considering that I'm you know, I just have one book out and my name's not really known. So here's how I do it. Uh, first thing you do is contact a bookstore. I like to go in in person just because it's harder to it's harder to say no to somebody who's standing right in front of you. And it just adds that personal touch. So introduce yourself and your book. Make sure to mention that you're a local author. And if there are any, uh, not commendations, but uh, positive things that you can say about your your work, then definitely add that in. So if you are an Amazon bestseller, or I had the one book signing, not this last one, but the one before, where I sold out all the books plus the extras that I had brought, that's a cool stat to just pepper into the conversation. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, introduce yourself and your work to the manager and or the event coordinator. If they're not there, then write a professional email Make sure that you have a time in mind to do the signing, so suggest a time a few weeks in advance. They need time to order the books normally, so I would say at least three weeks from the time that you're contacting people. Uh, so suggest that time, suggest a particular time of the day, and see if that works for them. So once you've done that, then I've found that people are really generally willing to set that up for you and they'll say, great, okay, we'll have a table ready. Um, before you go in, I would suggest asking a few additional questions. So how many books did, are they planning to order for your event? I found that for at least my local Barnes & Noble, the standard is 20 books. If you think that you'll need more than what they're planning to order, then make sure to bring some extras. I always bring extras just in case. This time I didn't need them, but the time before that I did. So not a bad idea to bring some extras um, in the event that you'll need those. So know how many books that, there, that will be there and how much the bookstore gets as a cut as well. Uh, pretty normally it's gonna be 30, maybe 40%, just so you know what to expect as far as the um, payment when that comes to you. That is pretty much all you need to do to set up a book signing. People act as though the bookstore has to contact you. That's not normally the case. Um, if you have a traditional book deal, sometimes the publisher will set things up for you, but for most of us, we need to do the contacting ourselves. Okay, so once you're there, at the bookstore, I would suggest getting there a little bit early just so that you can set things up to make them look very attractive and not, I don't know, you know what draws you to a table with books on it and what makes you want to steer away. So as much as possible, make it look very very attractive, give it some layers. I bring some some goodies, some extras, so I actually brought my, my uh, bag of stuff that I use so I have snacks uh, in this case I have my long cookies from Trader Joe's because the Barnes & Nobles in town both have Starbucks attached to them and so it's kind of an easy way to get people coming up to the table and strike up a conversation I also bring here we go um, bookmarks as well so these can kind of act as my card so if people seem interested but maybe they're not sure or they don't have the budget for another book or something like that then I always encourage them to take one of these bookmarks because not only does it have the title of my book on there but it also has my website as well so I would suggest having something like this if possible on the table I also I also bring uh, little goodies. So here are some character stickers. There's my Curious sticker and my personal favorite, my Furian sticker. I mean, look at his little outfit, his hair. It's fabulous. 
So I have those as just giveaways. All of that stuff I just completely give away to anybody who wants it. And um, yeah, so it's a, it's a good way to have people come up and, and talk to you. I also have a Sanazi pen. Do make sure that you bring at least one signing pen. I think most bookstores will provide one for you, but I like to have something that is a little bit, a little bit snazzier, a little bit nicer. And as I mentioned before, I bring extra books as well. So that's the rest of what's in my bag. As you can see, a few extras, just in case. If you do end up selling the extras, then the bookstore will essentially pay you for them minus their cut. So just be aware of that. Um, what I've seen with Barnes & Noble is they'll just give you cash um, for that, that amount, that discounted amount. The last thing I have on my table, besides my own personal coffee, which I always get, is a sign-up sheet. So this is for people to sign up for my newsletter. I don't want to show you all the, all the email addresses, those are private, but I have this. I have a little explanation at the top here if you want behind the scenes information. So that way I can also collect email addresses for my author newsletter, which is a great way to stay in touch with people as well. All right, a few other things. I have done a bit of research into how to sell books and I also worked at Chick-fil-A for a long time before I was an English teacher. So I feel like those two things together kind of helped me out with some ideas for customer service. So a few things that I found to be particularly helpful with book signings is that I don't sit. They always provide a chair, um, but I pretty much don't sit the entire time. I'll just stand there. I'll have a coffee and maybe a water as well, so I have something to kind of do with my hands rather than just waiting for people to come in. But I stand, I smile at people when they come in. I don't necessarily address everybody because not everybody wants to be talked to by some random author that they don't know, but I try to look as approachable as possible. So yes, I do have my phone, but I'm pretty much not on it unless there is nobody in the vicinity who looks remotely interested. Then I'll covertly check Instagram or, or whatever, but I'll keep one eye out to make sure that if anybody seems to be coming by who might be interested, that I immediately put that away. Because I find that people who sit down or they're on their phone, there's really no reason to go up and talk to them. They don't seem like they want to talk. And so I try to eliminate those barriers to striking up a conversation. So if somebody does come up, even if they're not particularly interested in my book, I try to strike up a conversation about what sorts of books they do like and just be as friendly as possible. I found that even people who look like they might not be in my demographic or they prefer uh, nonfiction or psychological thrillers or something like that. If I'm friendly and I have my 10 second elevator pitch ready, which is something you should definitely have in your back pocket because everybody will ask what your book is about and you should have a short, nice, concise answer. Uh, Anyway, even, even if somebody doesn't look like they're interested in the book personally, I've found that people often buy the book for people that they know. So a parent will buy it for their child, or a grandparent for their grandchild, or something for a friend. I mean, right now it is getting to that holiday buying season, so don't discount anybody as a potential uh, client. A couple last notes, one more, or a couple more things that I do to make myself seem more professional and official uh, is that I make sure that I dress up a little bit. I don't get super dressy. I don't want to look like I'm going to a job interview exactly because my genre is young adult fantasy. It's not nonfiction, but I tend to wear something, you know, a nice black top with a necklace or something like that and just be aware of the way that I'm coming off as somebody who cares about my presentation. I also went to Walgreens when my book first came out and ordered a big poster of Fury and Rising, the cover art, and I bring that poster with me to all of my signings so I can set it up and it makes everything look, again, more official. I had somebody 
uh, last month during the book signing get a selfie with me and I don't think they know that I'm like not big time but that means that I'm doing it right. Uh, one more thing that I want to reinforce, I know this has been jumping around a little bit but hopefully all of these nuggets are helpful or at least they're getting your your mind going. I want to reinforce that you really do need to have that elevator pitch down and have it adjustable as well. So if you find that people really enjoy one aspect of your story that you know is in there, then be able to talk to them about that as well. So I, if I find out that people really enjoy sci-fi, that's not my genre, but there are some sci-fi-ish elements in it that I could talk about. So there are Matrix-like fight scenes, for instance, that tend to show up more in sci-fi than in fantasy. So have a, a malleable pitch, but have the one thing that you plan to say when people come up and ask what your book's about. Keep it short. People do not need to know everything that's in there. Just make it sound enticing. What is the character? What is the problem? What is what is a selling point that makes it sound interesting? So if you have any other suggestions or questions about book signings, then please do put those down below. I've only done a few, so I don't consider myself an expert in these, but they've been pretty successful, so I think I'm doing something right and have something to offer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do for more English nerdy goodness. Like this video if you like it, and I will see you next Monday. Bye!